The world of One Piece is coming to Netflix and we're excited to see the live action adaptation of the much beloved manga. We recently got our first look at some of the extended cast of the series along with concept art and sets from the show. Whether you're an established fan or discovering One Piece for the first time, then we've got you covered on everything you need to know about Netflix's One Piece. Anaki Godoy stars as Monkey D. Luffy and showed us a great range of enthusiasm and energy in the behind-the-scenes footage. For those new to the series, Luffy's journey begins after being accidentally turned into a rubber man by eating a magical devil fruit, granting him the power to stretch his body but cursing him with the inability to swim. A situation we've all found ourselves in, I'm sure. He's a powerful fighter with an insatiable appetite for meat and a dream of one day becoming the king of the pirates. Luffy's friend and mentor, red-haired Shanks, is played by Peter Godoy of Showtime's Yellow Jackets. We were treated to a brief glimpse of the ship the Red Force during some recent behind-the-scenes footage. Shanks is a legendary pirate captain, but known as simply Red Hair to his friends. Elia Isarelli's Paulino is playing Luffy's first real antagonist, the pirate captain Alvida. In the original manga, she goes through a considerable visual transformation by the time the crew reaches Logtown, the final port before the real adventure into the Grand Line begins. It'll be interesting to see if future episodes will recast the role or some changes will be made to deviate from the source material. We're just speculating, but there's a chance that the crew's visit to Logtown will be skipped entirely as casting for the character of Smoker, who makes his first appearance there, is yet to be announced. Alvida's ship, the Miss Love Duck, was shown in great detail and is likely the setting for at least one of the early episodes. In the manga and anime, Luffy first meets his friend Kobe on the Love Duck, being played in this series by Morgan Davies. Kobe doesn't stick around for long in the manga, but plays a much larger role in the series later on down the line. Let's hope the show gets to run for a few seasons so we eventually get to see where the story heads. The first real member of Luffy's crew we meet is the three-sword-wielding legendary pirate hunter Roa Noah Zoro, played by Japanese actor Makenyu. They've previously embodied characters from other shonen hits like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Tokyo Ghoul, and Roroni Kenshin, among many others. He'll face Aiden Scott, who's playing the bratty, spoiled Hell Meppo, another character with an initially small part, but one whose influence grows in the future. Hell Meppo's father, the Axe Hand Captain Morgan, is betrayed by Langley Kirkwood in his second comic to screen role after playing Judge Lex in 2012's Dread. Jeff Ward is playing the pirate clown Buggy another Devil Fruit user with the power to entirely detach his limbs and still move them independently. We're very interested to see how a character like this will be visualized in a live-action setting. The marksman of the Straw Hats, though he'll prefer to be called their captain, Usopp, will be played by Jacob Gibson. He comes from the sweetly named Syrup Village, as do Kuro and Kaya, who Alexander Manatees and Celeste Lutz have been cast as respectively. This indicates that Usopp's journey to join in the Straw Hat crew will be fleshed out significantly during this season, as they play a major part in this storyline. This arc is where the Straw Hat Pirates are given their first ship, the iconic Goin' Merry, which we've been able to see a handful of concept arts and angles from the live-action set. This is the ship they'll sail with to visit the floating restaurant Baratier. A lot of concept art and screen time was given to this location during the behind-the-scenes video we've seen, both displaying a significant amount of detail compared to how we've seen it before. The Straw Hat's cook, Sanji, will be played by Taz Skyler, with Craig Fairbairn brass as Sanji's adoptive father figure, Chef Zeph. The casting for Don Krieg hasn't been announced yet, which might imply that another direction is being taken during this part of the adaptation. Krieg is an infamous pirate admiral who serves as an antagonist during the Baratier arc of the manga. Stephen Ward will be playing Mihawk, however, who makes a huge impact on his arrival to every pirate's favorite restaurant and serves as a catalyst to Zoro's journey. We've not even mentioned the crew's navigator Nami yet, who'll be played by Emily Rudd. She's no stranger to navigating the Netflix waters, having previously been in R.L. Stein's adaptation series, Fear Street. One Piece has a reputation for its initial chapters not necessarily highlighting the strengths of the series, but the Arlong Park arc, revolving around Nami's unclear motivations and battling with Arlong the Saw, who is played here by McKinley Belcher III, 
still remains a fan favorite section even after 25 years. Arlong is a saw shark fishman who captures a crew made solely of fishmen. Did we mention that One Piece is slightly bizarre? We haven't seen any footage yet, but a set built of Arlong Park's map room, a pivotal location during this portion's climax, was mentioned in the behind the scenes video. Chioma Umela has been announced as Nojiko, however, neither her adoptive mother and former Marine, Velmer, or the friendly but intimidating Genzo have been shown to us yet. If we were to theorize, the 10 episodes that make up season 1 are likely to take us to the end of the East Blue Saga, introducing us to the original five members of the Straw Hat crew, but ending before their journey into the Grand Line truly begins. For anyone who's been waiting to see a live-action CGI recreation of the giant whale laboon, this means you might be holding on just a little longer. And if you have no idea who that is, well, hopefully this has helped as an introduction to the world of One Piece, coming to Netflix at some point in the future. And for more One Piece, make sure to check out the official live action behind the scenes clip or the One Piece Odyssey official announcement trailer.